Welcome to my Lumosity Wind Sprints for the Brain 537. Yesterday we did a math workout. Wasn't feeling very mathy because I went down 21 points. It can happen. And today we're doing a language workout. The nice thing about math and language is they don't affect your overall LPI. We're currently standing one point away from my all-time high of 1523 at 1522. We've gone 37 days straight. Today is day 38. We're going to get right into our workout. Feeling okay. Had eight hours sleep. We're getting right into taking root. And we're going to actually do a little warm up on this one. How to play. Struct is built. Structure, construct, destruction. Built. Struct. Port is carry, so it's over here. Portable, porter, transport. Carry. Trying to remember these. Down is under, so sub. Some. All right, built is structure. Pertaining is under. All right, sep, circum, d, if, here, that ain't it. Down. What would down? Okay, I'm going to say if, and it's going to be destructive. D is being under. Right there. D is under. Learn something new every day. D is under. If is pertaining. Across is, uh, port is carry, transport. Across is trans. Okay. D is under. Wow. I was looking for sub substruction. Instead, we have destruction. All right. Which sounds like the reverse. Under. Maybe because you dig it up. I don't know. Destruction. Detain. All right. Hap is chance. Doll is suffer. Very is. Oh, God. What is very? Uh, diverse. Anna is medical. Body. Up. Theo is God. Homo is same. Not enough done. Unsatisfactory. Uh, done. Done, done, done is fact. Uh, enough. And dissatisfaction. Word, Lexa. Science is... Science, 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 science. Log? Science is log? Hmm. Okay, not. Nega. I'm not doing well. Hap. Hap. Together. Con. Spire. One more. 
together con total sum. Ah, <sighs> missed a couple. Oh, I only missed Anna, but anyways, we're probably not even close. Nope, quite a bit of ways. Contextual, this is reading, and you got to be fast. To get into the scoring, I have to be fast and 100% accurate. We can just take whatever we get. Chibata cuisine. I don't even know what a chibata is. But we're going to find out. I kind of know. I think it's a bun or something. Or kind of like a oh, shaipo, I think we call it in the Philippines. Where you have meat inside of a bun. All right, ciabatta. Ciabatta bread is to have a staple bakery. Well, people imagine it's prolong, pro, prologue, owes uh, to tradition, stretching back. And uh, the, the truth about ciabatta is a fairly recent invention. I'm going to go prologue. Uh, it's popularity. In 1980s, thriving Italian sandwich market is uh, more hospitable by the day, more uh, uh, to dismay at bakers. However, most popular bread in front of the baguette, uh, 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 hospital, well, more uh, profitable by the day, more profound by the day, more, okay. Much to the dismay of Italian bakers, however, most of the popular bread uh, was f the French baguette, and the master baker uh, uh, created the ciabatta to inject into a ba baguette. <sighs> I hate this. 1980s thriving Italian sandwich market was growing more profitable. Much to the dismay of Italian bakers, however, the most popular bread in Italy was the French baguette. In 1982, the master created the ciabatta to inject into the baguette to compete. Replace. <sighs> okay, taking its name from the Italian word slipper, ciabatta is a long and rectangular bread created from the unrelenting, from the simple. Ciabatta dough is extremely sticky, but it bakes into bread a strong crust, a spongy, uh, spongy, uh, spongy inside. Today, the ciabatta can be found as a base for sandwiches across the world. It's often served as a perfect subpoena. Perfect compliments, perfect addition to other Italian foods. <sighs> Man. Too slow. Too slow. Let's see if we got into it. See, the more you know about the subject, the easier it is to do this. I knew it was bread. I didn't realize that that's what they were talking about. Anyways, exit review. Ooh, pizza next for cuisine. I just let them give it to me as a... This is going to be close, though. I might be in scoring. We'll find out. Not close enough, though. Continuum is just putting words in order. Order of magnitude. And we're just going to go right into it. Cautious, dauntless, petrified. Uh, I think we got it. I think it was right in the first place. Lenient, lax. Lenient, lax, harsh, stern. Stern, harsh. Okay. Sadistic, petulant, 
amicable doting. I don't know. It looks like it might be right. Alrighty. All right. Uh, leisurely, hurried, hectic. Hurried, hectic. Uh, I almost think that one works too. Okay. Charm, amusement, amuse, charm, irritate, abuse. How about like that? Uh, venal. I don't even know what that means. Principled, uh, principled, saintly, venal. How about venal, saintly? Venal, open to bribery. There we go. How about like that? Okay. I didn't know what venal was. Continual, per periodic, intermittent, continual. All right. Wonderful, sublime, tolerable, despicable. Oh, got to switch these two. Um... Useful, futile, futile, ineffective. Ineffective is probably. All right, safe, damaging, risky. All right, safe, risky, lethal, there. Okay, delectable is yummy. Insipid, I don't know what that is, but I think that's probably what. How about like that then? All right, solid, indestructible, eh, there. We didn't do very good, very well. All right, word bubbles, one of my favorites to uh, have challenging, <laughs> very challenging. When you get up in age, Words don't come quickly, and not only do words not come quickly, they don't, they, last couple of times they've been giving me like X, Y, Z. Okay, xylophone, I don't know. All right. They don't take any letters away on this one. They're not going to show me until I get click under the take break. Get ready for the next one. They take away one letter on this one. away. Come on, you. Coffee. 
And that was the end of it all. I didn't do good work. <laughs> that was like awful. All right. So, uh, but we're going to take it and move on. Take it all and move on. This is uh, synonyms and uh, math and English. Um, I'm going to have to read a lot more books in the dictionary. This is all synonyms here. We're just get right into it. Colorful, vibrant, graphic. Dispelled is banished. And uh, pacified, quelled. I'm going to go with this one. Uh, how about this one? Uh, aberrant is not unreasonable. Uh, how about unusual? And farcical. Uh, how about senseless? How about unorthodox? Prosaic. <clears throat> I don't know what that means, so let's go commonplace and jumbled. How about pedestrian? Shocked. I'm shocked and uh, nauseated. Polished is refined and cultivated. Baleful, harmful, and harsh. Uh, how about hostile? Catching is something like unusual spotting. How about a new, uh, conversion? How about glimpsed and spotting? Okay, bald is exposing. How about uh, revealing? No, it isn't that. How about unadorned? Uh, worn out is incorrigible, cliche. Got to be this. No, can't be that one. Clinch. Didn't do well on that one. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I don't know if that's in the scoring, though. Not. <laughs> I was like going, 100, that's good, but not good enough. And that is English. I'm going to show you that basically nothing changes. We didn't score in the top 10 of any of that. There we go. Join Lumosity.com so you too can have wind sprints for your brain and check out all my videos.